And you can see why I need all these task management systems, because without them, I tend to neglect things. For instance, this is my backyard. It's dead, like me on the inside. Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Brian Jenks. On this channel, we talk about all things programming, tech, and data analytics. And today we're gonna to talk about my GTD system or how I get things done. So there's a popular system out around nowadays called GTD or get things done. It's a system for capturing all of your ideas, making it so you're more efficient and actually achieving progress on the things that you're trying to do and well, get things done. Now I have a unique spin on this because well, I have ADHD. This makes things a little bit more difficult and tricky for me. You know, you have the lack of attention or you have you know, thoughts just go everywhere. It's hard to capture things to actually make, thing, make sure you get those things done. And so I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I do my GTD system. It is probably unique to me and how I do things. I use a, a variety of different tools and use them all together to achieve the results of getting things done. So let's dive right in. So right now, life is a little crazy. I mean, we're all still dealing with this pandemic. Uh, we just rescued a dog. I just started my bachelor's degree program. We work ho from home full time, and I still have to manage my leatherworking business. So I have a lot of projects and a lot of things going on at all times, and I needed a way to actually manage this stuff, as well as being able to just get things out of my head because, you know, things just get lost or you for forget about them, especially when you have uh, a lack of attention, which I tend to do. So how do I manage all this stuff all at once and still manage to be productive? Well, I use my GTD system. And with my system, it's grown and evolved over the years, but over the last couple years, I've been consistently using the same tools and the same methods, and it's just been the best way I've found for me to get things done. Now, initially, I started off by doing bullet journals and, and actually physically writing tasks. And down in this bullet journal, it was super minimalist. It was very, very simple. I didn't do all the fancy, crazy drawing and you know, making it look really super pretty. I just didn't have the time and just putting that much effort into it just seemed like a waste. I just needed a system to just put all those items and get them done. So because of that, I moved from actually physical notebooks and actually writing out my items, especially when you have to move things forward, it becomes really inefficient to have to rewrite a long list of items every single time when you're trying to move things forward or schedule them in the future. So I moved to more electronic tools. This also helps with access, especially if you want to see it on your phone, you want to use it on your computer, or you just want to have access to it anywhere at any time. You don't have to carry around a physical notebook anymore, which is one reason why I no longer really do bullet journals at all. So what do I use? I use a variety of tools. I use primarily email, Task Warrior, the VIT front end for Task Warrior, V-I-T, Taskle for different projects because it's a command line Kanban board, and Trello for a specific instance of when I need to actually capture ideas and I'm out and about because I don't have access to Taskle remotely. So there are a variety of instances when you might need to capture an idea and you're in different situations. What happens if you're just outside of your house, away from your computer? What happens if you're actually driving and you need to capture something? And then what, what do you do when it's normal and you can literally just sit at your computer and enter your items that you need to get done? Well, I have specific workflows for each of those instances. And it sounds like it's really complex and a lot, but it's really not. It's been developed over time and it's really just something I've grown used to and that I've been using for years now to manage myself, basically because I tend to just forget things or they get lost in the mix or the shuffle. And I just found ways to make sure I collect and actually execute on every single thing that I want to remember to get done. Okay, so what are my workflows for the various situations that I might find myself in? If I'm out of the house, if I'm just walking around somewhere and I need to actually capture ideas, I have two primary methods of idea capture. The main one that I tend to do is I will email myself. I try to keep my email inbox at inbox zero. I try to keep it completely empty and basically process everything that ever enters my email as quickly as possible. So that means I might have to file it away. I might actually have to do a specific action or perform an action, or I might just have to record it on Task Warrior when I have access to my computer or if I want to do it from my phone. But basically, I always check and process my email as quickly as possible and maintain inbox zero. I used to maintain uh, Outlook because I wrote some macros to easily just file things away or delete spam or just get rid of crap. And this worked for a while, but I didn't really care for Outlook. So I actually moved to ProtonMail, so I don't really have that 
uh, at my disposal anymore, but I tend to just not get a lot of email, which I like, and I file away what I actually do use. Now, another option that I have is if I have something more graphical and I just want to easily drop it somewhere, I set up a secondary location for idea capture that I reference, and that is a specific Trello board for just me and my girlfriend to look at and actually drop our ideas on. This also lets me easily take pictures and just easily enter multiple items instead of actually having to enter an email. So Trello can be faster, but I do tend to be a little bit more like religious about how I check and actually clean my email out. So usually email is the best way that I deal with, you know, sending myself new things to look at. Now, sometimes what happens is a lot of people get their best ideas when they're in the shower or something. Now, what happens to me is I get a lot of things I want to remember when I'm driving. Now, I can't have my phone in my hand while I'm driving and type out messages to myself. So typically I'll just, you know, beg my girlfriend to either email or text me something and that's how I'll follow up on it later. Usually it's just, hey, can you email me this reminder? And then uh, she'll just type it out and send it to me to my email inbox. And then when we get home, I will process that and put it into Task Warrior or something. Or, But basically the idea is I kind of make her my indentured servant and just please email me this reminder. And that's usually how I capture something if I'm driving and I don't want to forget it. Now, obviously if I'm at my laptop, and I have access to all of my, my software, then I'm just gonna sit there and enter my tasks and items in there. And that's quick and efficient. I have a bash script that I've written for Task Warrior. I've made a video about it. I can put a card up above for that. And basically I just put everything into Task Warrior. With Task Warrior's different contexts, I have one for work, for home, for business, for personal, and I can easily separate out for like, I wanna see this context, I wanna see the active tasks, or I wanna see things that are overdue. That's just a couple keystrokes for me. So managing all of these things that I have going on is very easy for me with Task Warrior. So along with my actual script I wrote to automate task creation, there's also the VIT, V-I-T, VIT front end for Task Warrior that I use a lot. I found this to be a very, very great way of managing my tasks. VIT is installed through Python's pip, so you just do pip install VIT and that will work. And when you have that and Task Warrior installed, you can easily just open VIT and make sure you have a task already in Task Warrior and then you, you can just go from there. You can do colon help enter and you'll see all the commands for VIT and it is just a great front end for Task Warrior. I really, really enjoy it and use it every day, all day. Another tool I've been recently using is something for Task Warrior called In The AM, and that's like in the morning. So this is basically a server that will take your tasks and host them for you so that you can access it through the web. So what this means is that when I'm on my phone, I can just open up my browser, you know, have a favorite to this site with my unique, uh, I think it's like a, an API key or token or something, and basically I can just go to this URL and access all of my tasks. They're organized, they're sorted, it shows me which ones are started, overdue, which ones are coming up, and all the details about them. So in this case, I can actually access Task Warrior when I'm out and around on my, from my phone. And I find this incredibly useful because what if I wanna finish a task or see what I have to do that day and I'm not at my computer and I didn't bring my computer with me. So I find that to be an incredibly useful scenario. There are other Task Warrior server tools, but I just wanted something simple, browser-based, a little bit more graphical, and just got the job done. And for now, I am using In The AM. If you'd like me to make a video about how I set up and configured all of these tools that I use for Task Warrior, let me know in the comments below and we can see about maybe making a video about that. So with all of these tools, methods, and workflows of actually capturing the ideas that bubble up into your head, what do you do once you have them all recorded? Every idea has been captured, they've all been consolidated into a single place that you will look for them at, so now what do you do? Well, then you go and you attempt to get things done. With Task Warrior, I also find that this is a great tool for this for me, specifically, because it easily outlines everything that I have to do. I can sort by context, I can add filters, I can separate things into projects or with different tags, and I can easily get you know, slices and dices of what am I going to be working on when I'm looking at a specific context. If I want to just look at absolutely everything and have a global view, I can set due dates, priorities, and different things are organized by priority just based on the different things you assign them, projects, tags, and priority level. So every morning I have some recurring tasks, things that I do daily. These are usually you know, specific habits. So I might put them in a project of home.habits because when you use the dot notation, you can actually make sub projects of your projects. So I have a, like a whole project for home things. I have home to do, home habits, home chores. 
and certain things I have on a recurring basis. So like every morning I have, you know, the simple tasks, do your journaling, take your vitamins, you know, things like that. Just daily tasks that are there and they repeat every single day. I will go in the morning, I'll wake up, look at my computer. Oh, okay, I have some daily tasks to complete. And it's really motivating. You know that thing that, you know, I think it's Navy SEALs that always say it. The first thing you should do every day is make your bed because then you've already completed a task for the day. You have some momentum and you now you're already primed and ready to accomplish the next task because you've actually completed something already. And this is what I like to do. Every morning I get up, I immediately make my bed and then I can check Task Warrior for what am I gonna do next. And it's really nice to also just have those little bite-sized tasks to keep you motivated because you can easily just, oh, I, I finished another one and another one and another one. And it motivates you to tackle the little slightly bigger ones or the things that need a little bit more time investment. And for me specifically with ADHD, this is a very, very big issue. And this is how I confront that. When you come across things that are just very time intensive and we tend to be, I tend to be very polar. Now I'll be like, I don't wanna to do that thing unless I can just really dive into it, just complete it, just tackle the whole thing, do it all at once. I tend to be very polar, so I'll just do something 100%. I put 100% into something or I can't do it at all. And it's a very big issue. And so sometimes motivating myself to actually take on these larger tasks that require a larger time or effort investment is a lot easier when I already have that snowballed momentum going by just tackling a simple task. Like, all right, I made my bed, I already took my vitamins. I already did my journaling for today. Let's start this, lar this larger task. Let's, let's begin that. And then once you've actually started something, it's easy to just continue with it, to finish it, and to actually make some progress. But that initial hurdle of just get started on that bigger item, that's tends to, that tends to, tends to be what I struggle with the most. So in the end, all of this is really just for me to say, I have ideas, I wanna capture them. Once I've captured them, I can organize them and put them into a single place where I know to look for everything. Then with that large overview, I can separate things out into smaller pieces, different chunks of my life, and I can look at them and then I can execute upon them, finish small tasks, build up momentum, tackle larger items, and really keep track of everything in a single spot in a single view. And that helps me get everything done. I hope you found this video entertaining or at least maybe minorly informative. If you want me to elaborate a little bit more on anything, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you use for your system. How do you get things done? And before I go, a quick shout out to my patrons. Thank you, Devin and Alberto, for supporting the channel. And I'll catch you in the next one. So what do you think about my task management lifestyle? Annoying. <laughs>